This person says, how about you educate me on what President Joe Biden has done? No problem. But before we do, a couple of other educational tools for you. First of all, President Joe Biden doesn't go in quotes because he's actually the president. So it's not a quote thing. Like it's not real. Also, Joe has an E on the end of it. Just in case you were curious how to properly write English. Joe Biden's accomplishments as president. This is just some of the accomplishments so far. $1.9 trillion rescue plan, $1 billion for Head Start, $15 billion for low-income child care grants, $24 billion for child care stabilization fund, $21.5 billion in rental assistance, $46.5 billion in housing assistance, $10 billion in homeowner relief, $5 billion in Section 8 vouchers, $5 billion in uh, to fight homelessness, $5 billion for utilities ex assistance, extended Obamacare open enrollment from 45 days to 76 days, permanently removed restrictions on access to abortion pills by mail, signed the Accelerating Access to Critical Thera Therapies for ALS Act, <clears throat> allowed states to extend coverage through Medicaid and CHIP to postpartum women for one year, 42 lifetime judges confirm the most in 40 years, 13 circuit court judges, 29 district court judges, $110 billion for roads and bridges, $66 billion for passenger and freight rail, $39 billion for public transport, uh, transit, I should say, $65 billion for grid expansion, $55 billion for water and wastewater, including the removal of lead pipes, $65 billion for affordable broadband, $25 billion for airports, $17 billion for ports and waterways, rejoin the Paris Climate Accords, revoke the Keystone XL permit, $1.1 billion for Everglades restoration, $50 billion for FEMA funding, $47.5 billion for COVID testing, $7.6 billion for state and local health departments, $8.5 billion for CDC for vaccines, $7.6 billion to community health centers, $17 billion to the Veterans Administration, $3 billion to address mental health and substance abuse, over $500 million vaccine shots administered in one year, established 90,000 free vaccine sites, 1 billion in home tests sent free via mail, rejoined the WHO, ended the ban on trans soldiers and military, prohibited discrimination against LGBTQ plus families in housing under fair, in housing under the Fair Housing Act, prohibited the discrimination of LGBTQ plus patients in healthcare, revoked ban on federal diversity training, banned chokeholds and limited no-knock raids among federal law enforcement, signed lawmaking uh, Juneteenth a federal holiday, eliminated over $127 billion in student loans for over 3 million people, prohibited ICE from workplace raids, ended America's longest war, Afghanistan, $10.4 billion for the ag industry, $29 billion for the restaurant recovery fund, restored collective bargaining rights for federal workers, raised the minimum wage to $15 an hour for federal contractors and federal employees, signed the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act. This law provides incentives for states to pass red flag laws, expand the laws that prevent people convicted of domestic abuse from gun ownership, expands background checks on young people between 18 and 21 who want to buy a gun and allocates funds to the mental health of young people cut child poverty in half through the American Rescue Plan, capped prescription drug prices at $2,000 a year for seniors on Medicaid through the Inflation and Reduction Act, gave Medicare the power to negotiate prescription drug prices through the Inflation and Reduction Act while also reducing government health spending, reauthorized the Violence Against Women Act through 2027, got us back to pre-pandemic job levels and has now added millions more jobs, and we have the lowest unemployment levels in almost 70 years. And once again, that is just a few of his accomplishments. But his biggest accomplishment by far is defeating a fascist to make sure we still have a country.